Applying Rational Algebraic Expressions. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon sa ating matsayang talakayan. Kaya, stay tuned! Hello, Grade 8 learners! In this video, we will be discussing Multiplying Rational Algebraic Expressions. With the learning competency, performs operations on rational algebraic expressions with the following objectives. Recall the different factoring techniques. Recall multiplication of rational numbers. O ito yung tinatawag natin na multiplication of fractions. And find the product of rational algebraic expressions. Let us first have the recall on the different factoring techniques. First, we have polynomial with common monomial factor. Example, 8m minus 12. First, we are going to get the GCF. At ang GCF natin ay 4. So, divide each term of the polynomial by the GCF. 8m divided by 4 is 2m. And negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So therefore, the factors are 4 times 2m minus 3. Next is we have difference of 2 squares. Paano natin malalaman that the given polynomial is a difference of 2 squares? For example, we have 4x squared minus 25. Kailangan ang first term natin ay perfect square at ang second term natin ay perfect square. At ang operation sa pagitan nila is subtraction. To get the factors, ang pattern natin ay plus minus. Okay, just simply get the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term. So square root of 4x squared is 2x. And the square root of 25 is 5. So therefore, the factors are 2x plus 5 and 2x minus 5. Next is sum or difference of 2 cubes. For sum of 2 cubes, we have the pattern plus minus plus. To get the first factor, so you have Get the cube root of the first term and get the cube root of the second term. So, cube root of x cubed is x and cube root of 8 is 2. So, to get the second factor, ang titingnan natin ngayon ay yung ating first factor. So, get the square of the first term of the first factor. A square of x is x. Then, multiply the first term and the second term of your first factor. So, x times 2 is 2x. Then, get the square of the second term of your first factor. So, a square of 2 is 4. In the difference of 2 cubes, the same process that we are going to do. Ang pagkakaiba lang nila ay yung pattern sa mga signs. Okay? So, cube root of the first term is x, cube root of 8 is 2. Okay, then tingin tayo sa first factor natin, is square of x is x squared, x times 2 is 2x, is square of 2 is 4. Next is we have perfect square trinomials. Kung ang perfect square trinomial natin, ang middle term niya ay positive. So, ang pattern natin sa factors are both positive. Just simply, get the square root of the first term and get the square root of the last term. The square root of x squared is x and the square root of 9 is 3. Kapag ang middle term ng perfect square trinomial ay negative, then we have the pattern both negative in the factors. Okay? So, square root of the first term, x, and square root of the last term is 3. So, therefore, the factors are x minus 3 times x minus 3. We all 
also have general trinomials. Meron tayong dalawang klase ng general trinomials. Yung isa, a is equal to 1, and yung isa pa, a is greater than 1. For example, we have x squared minus 7x plus 10. So this is a general trinomial wherein a is equal to 1 dahil ang numerical coefficient ng x squared ay 1. To get the factor, meron tayong product of two binomials. Just get the factors of x squared, so this will be x times x. Then, to get the second term of each binomial, factor 10 or positive 10 that the sum is negative 7. So, factors of 10, we have 2 and 5. Since positive ito at ito ay negative, the two numbers must be both negative so that when we multiply negative 2 and negative 5, the product is positive 10. When we add negative 2 and negative 5, so the sum is negative 7. So ilalagay lang natin yung nahanap natin ng mga numbers sa second term ng bawat binomia. And these are now the factors. Kung ang general trinomial a is greater than 1, for example, we have 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. Ang coefficient o numerical coefficient ng x squared is 2, which is greater than 1. We can use here a trial and error method. So, meron tayong binomial. So, parehas na positive na ang nandito dahil ang last term at ang second term natin ay positive. Okay, just simply get the factors of 2x squared. So, that is 2x and x. Then, hanap tayo ng mga possible factors ng 12. So, limbawa, ang factors ng 12 ay 3 at saka 4. Okay, so i-check lang natin kung tama yung factors natin. Okay, so you have 3x or 3 times x is 3x. Then, 2x times 4 is 8x. I-add natin yung mga product na yun. So, 3x plus 8x is equal to 11x. So, therefore, tama yung ating factors. Napaka-importante ng different factoring techniques sa multiplying rational algebraic expressions dahil yon ay magagamit natin to find the product in simplest form. So, rational algebraic expressions are multiplied the same way as you multiply fractions. Paano nga ba mag-multiply ng fractions? Example, 4 third multiplied by 5 over 7. So, just simply multiply both numerators and both denominators. 4 times 5 is 20 and 3 times 7 is 21. So, if possible to reduce your answer in lowest term, then we can simplify your answer. Since 20 over 21 is in simplest form, so this is now your final answer. If in case that we have 3 over 9 times 12 over 15, makikita natin that there are common factors in the numerator and in the denominator. So, what are these factors? Tingnan natin ang mga factors ng bawat number. So, ang 9, meron tayong 3 times 3. Ang 12, meron 2 times 2 times 3. At ang 15, meron 3 times 5. Okay, so we can see there the common factors from numerator and denominator. Meron pa tayong another 3 and 3 from numerator and denominator. Okay, so meron pa ba? Kung wala na, we are going to multiply the remaining numbers. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 5 is 15. So, the final answer is 4 over 15. In multiplying rational algebraic expressions, the product of two rational expressions is the product of the numerators divided by the product of the denominators. In other words, multiply both numerators and both denominators then simplify the result. Kagaya ng ginawa natin sa fractions kanina. So in symbol, we can represent it as A over B multiplied by C over D will be equal to A times C is AC, B times D is BD, wherein BD must not be equal to 0. 
If in case that VD is equal to 0, then the expression will become undefined. Let's have our first example. Find the product in simplest form. So let's say we have 10 uv squared over 3xy squared multiplied by 6x squared y squared over 5u squared v squared. As you can see, we have the GCF of 10 and 5 is 5. So divide natin yung 10 and yung 5 by the GCF. So 10 divided by 5 is 2 and 5 divided by 5 is 1. Sa 6 and 3, ang GCF naman nila ay 3. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay, sa variable, makikita natin that there are also common factors. So, we have u in the numerator and cancel out natin yung isang u in the denominator. Another is we have v squared from numerator and v squared in the denominator. Then we have also x in the denominator at isang x in the numerator. Then cancel out y squared from the denominator and y squared in the numerator. Then multiply the remaining terms. So we have 2 times 2 times x in the numerator. Then we have 1 times 1 times u in the denominator. So therefore, the final answer is... 4x over u. Example number 2. Find the product in simplest form. So we have 5x plus 10 over x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 over 3x minus 6. In this kind of expressions, we are going to use the factoring technique. Dito na natin magagamit ngayon yung different factoring techniques na Pinag-aralan natin kanina. Okay? So, let us have the factors. So, tingnan natin, sa 5x plus 10, ang pupwede natin gamitin dito ay common monomial factor. Dahil meron tayong GCF na 5. So, divide 5x by 5 is x. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, x plus 2 is a prime polynomial. Kaya, i-write lang natin sa denominator x minus 2 is also a prime polynomial, so i rewrite din natin as x minus 2. 3x minus 6, pwede rin natin i-apply dito ang common monomial factor. So, ang GCF is 3. So, 3x divided by 3 is x, and negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. So, after applying factoring techniques, meron na tayong makikita mga common factors. Okay, cancel out common factors. So, we have x plus 2 and x plus 2. Another, x minus 2 and x minus 2. Then, get the remaining terms or multiply the remaining terms. So, you have 5 over 3. And that is now the final answer. Example number 3, find the product in simplest form. For example, we have a squared minus b squared over 2ab multiplied by a squared over a minus b. So, ano ang po pwede nating i-factor dito? Tama, yung a squared minus b squared because this is a difference of 2 squares. So, ito ngayon ang factors natin. So, square root ng first term a, square root ng last term b. Then, meron tayong plus and minus. So, we have here, 2ab, a squared, and a minus b. So, nire-write na lang natin because those are prime polynomials. Okay? Then, cancel out common factors. So, ano ang common factors natin? We have a minus b and a minus b. Meron pa kayong nakikita? Okay, tama. Meron pa tayong a sa denominator at isang a sa numerator. Then, get the product of the remaining terms. So, you have a times a plus b over 2b. And this is now your final answer. And for example number 4, find the product in simplest form. So, 4m squared minus 9 
over 4m plus 6 times 2m minus 3 over 4m minus 12m plus 9. So, tingnan natin ang ating mga factors sa bawat terms. Ang 4m squared minus 9 is difference of 2 squares, kaya meron kang plus and minus. I square root ng 4m squared ay 2m, I square root ng 9 ay 3, kaya meron tayong 2m plus 3 times 2m minus 3. Dito naman, kukunin natin dito yung kanyang GCF because ang i-apply natin dito ay common monomial factor. So, ang GCF natin ay 2. Divide natin, 4m divided by 2 is 2m. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, 2m minus 3 is a prime polynomial. So, sulat lang natin dito. Then, 4m squared minus 12m plus 9 is a perfect square trinomial. Since negative yung nasa middle term, parehas na negative yung signs natin dito. So, square root ng first term ay 2m, square root ng last term ay 3. Okay, so cancel out common factors. So we have 2m plus 3. We also have 2m minus 3 and another 2m minus 3. As you can see here, walang natira sa numerator. In that case, ang numerator natin will become 1. So therefore, the final answer is 1 half. And that's it. Now that you know how to multiply rational algebraic expressions, it's your turn. Do this activity on your paper or notebook. Mag-practice at magtyaga para matuto at maging matgali. Again, this is Teacher Dali na nagsasabing, practice makes perfect. Thank you and goodbye! Thank you.